Yo, right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at a little based banger. This right here is Wanted Dead. Now, I got this uh, copy a couple of days early, took it out for a spin, you know, just to get acquainted with the game, preparing for the video whenever I did get around to recording it this week. And oh man, I enjoyed this game a lot, let me tell you. I normally don't play games for too long that I plan to record videos for, just to kind of, you know, come into them fresh, you know? I just want to kind of learn the basics so when I do the video, I'm not over here stumbling around going like, Oh, what do I do? I did nothing wrong. But this one in particular ended up sinking almost two hours into. Unexpectedly. It was just a game that I found to be fun. And I feel like that's the operative word here. Fun. I feel like a lot of games tend to sometimes miss that as of late. Now, this is no big AAA release. It's more along the lines of a AA game. The team behind this is composed of ex-members of Team Ninja, responsible for Ninja Gaiden, Dead or Alive. And it's really funny because as I'm starting to, you know, getting ready to record this video here today, reviews already come out for this one. And a common theme among all these reviews seem to be, it's a game suited for the early 2000s, possibly problematic for the current year. Well, I guess that's the reason why I was having fun with it. Let's check it out. Lieutenant, I have some eggs, beans, bacon, make it four slices. No, five. Definitely five. A few pancakes on the side, some syrup, banana milkshake, coffee with cream. Uh, please don't put milk in there. Very hard to digest. Some orange juice and a pack of smokes. Tomato soup and coffee. Make it Irish. Uh-huh. I'll have the special. <laughs> Keep the fork, honey. Here's pie. Keep your eyes on this, dude, is all I'm gonna say. You're a fucking animal, Herzog. Is that the news? You know what? This time, I just might. I'll have some more. Whoa, take it easy, Tiger. Days just begun. Yeah, Doc. Take it easy. Stone, we got a call. Two blocks away. Someone triggered the sign on the llama Dawa. So? I got a call from mainland. Shouldn't there be a unit nearby? Get your ass out of there! Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a skip forward here. Didn't miss out on much. It's essentially just the team arriving at the scene that we have to get under control, right? Um, and it jumps you immediately into this, which lets you customize both of your guns. Rifle for stone, I would say the most important thing for her, at least for me so far, what I played with, feels to be recoil. If you can lower your recoil, I think you'll have a lot more success. Although the gunplay for me isn't really the main dish here. It's more of a side thing. Let's go over to the taker gun. This is going to be very important for melee. It lets you essentially break counters and just gives you like that extra oomph when you're in hand-to-hand -hand combat or sword to sword I imagine would probably be more ideal. For that I've found that it feels better. Forget the range, forget damage. Go with stopping power. Now the one thing I will admit with a lot of the reviews coming out saying this is the game from an earlier 2000s era, PS3, 360, etc, okay, etc. Et I do agree with that in that it's a game that's going to be very heavily favored when it comes to this, like, you know, coverage. A lot of coverage in particular, really. Uh, a little bit of jank, too. This is not a AAA game by any means. This is going to be a double-A title for sure. As a matter of fact, I want to say that... You see that little shot that we done, did right there? That's the Taker gun taking effect. I want to say that the team members from this game, I wouldn't be surprised if they, have any, if they had a hand in Devil's Third. Which this game feels to me like that, except, um, good. I think it's a pretty good, um, explanation of it. I don't really rely on my teammates for this game on much of anything, by the way. <laughs> if I'm not doing it, I don't really rely on their backup. Let's get bullet time. It's a very good thing early on to have, just for guys like to guard a lot. As a matter of fact, when they do that red attack, you have to counter with... Why, I guess, is the ideal for this gamepad that I'm using, or triangle, I guess, if you're using the PlayStation controller. 
If it's a melee attack with no flash, then you use your sword to parry that. Otherwise, the red attack can do damage if you miss time. The type of parry that you're looking for. Our bullet time is indeed ready, by the way. Oh, I actually got that guy in one hit. I'm surprised. Enemies are very tanky in this game. One of the things I was reading as one of the Steam forums was people um, complaining about the difficulty of the game. And why, <laughs> why there's no easy mode available from the onset of the game. So this is where I've mentioned, this would be your quote-unquote checkpoints. It also gives you all of your heals back as you can see. And it lets you... Customize your weapon on the fly. Only the taker and the rifle. For now, let's keep it as that. And let's go forward here. Let's take care of these guys already. See a purple object there? Surprise, mother... Ah. <laughs> I thought you were a bro. I wasn't paying attention to this guy. There it is. He was going for it. Now we still need to pick up the upgrade that lets me essentially finish him off once we do that. There's an upgrade that lets you, once you counter that um, red parry, it puts him instantly for the kill, which is going to be very, Let's very helpful. These guys now we should probably already have enough for that upgrade. I need to go into my customizables here pretty soon just to check that out. We'll keep this bullet time ready for one of those uh, sword boys to show up. But technically, they're mainly daggers. There's going to be some very difficult melee units showing up soon-ish. The ninjas, the tech ninjas, I like to call them. Those guys are a pain in the ass to fight. I can see some people having problems with those guys. We're at 577. What I'm looking for right now is... Is it the parry follow-up? It could be the parry follow-up that I'm talking about. Oh, wait, this is what we do need. We need to dodge row. That'll help you evade a lot of um, fire when you're in doing going in for melee. The grenade is also very useful. Well, I mean, I've had, as I mentioned, a grenade is friendly fire, so you could blow yourself up quite easily. I've done it a couple of times trying to get very cute. And I guess we'll pick up the dash attack, too. Okay, let's see. I guess we'll go down from here. Uh, should we try out that grenade you're saying? Sure, why not? Let's see how it goes. It killed one of them. <laughs> That's probably the best I've ever done with the grid, to be honest with you. So much for, you know, area attack. Just kills one, dude. Now, one of the things we picked up is going to be the dash attack, which lets you get these instant knockdowns in enemies. Very, very useful against the gun dudes in particular. Didn't really have much coverage or defenses against that. And let's see what we got here. Hiding back there. That roll, baby. Gotta get them rolls in there. And there's that file that we saw earlier, huh? Hello, my friend. You be hiding. Grenade! You happen to be in half now. I'm not sure where that grenade is, but avoid it altogether. I think there might be a dude behind me. Don't you dare. Oh, we didn't even finish with this guy. Now we have. I want to just pick this up really quickly here. All the time? Yeah. Ready for a kill? Ooh, was it a double? <gasps> now, I will admit to you guys, that's the first time I've ever done a triple takedown like that. So it means that we must have gotten all three of them with the bullet time. Wow. <laughs> it's the first time I've done that one. That's, I'm actually quite impressed with that one. A lot of blood there. You might want to, you know, just wipe that off from your face. Have you seen that shit? What? That guy's head fucking exploded. Bullshit. Now, who's the marksman? Pop it. <laughs> Pop it and go. Try it. Coward, see what happens. See what happens, coward. Let's see about building up another bullet time if we can. 
I guess I could have probably tossed a grenade there because there's a lot of dudes right there together. That was on me. Oh, my friend has shown up here with the sword. Do you want to... Oh, grenade. Pop it right there. What's under his foot? I blew myself up. Oh, shield units. These guys are annoying. I still haven't really quite figured out how to deal with them other than just getting backside. Or, occasionally, get lucky and the grenade actually works. Hooray! Now, of course, the grenade wouldn't kill him. Why, why would a grenade under your feet going off kill you? He just drops his shield and goes into rifle unit. Perfect. So, as I mentioned, even the common enemies oh, are tanky in this game. Took everything off right there. Oh man, that went. Oh, sorry, sorry, dude. Sorry. Light of fire. What can I say? Great. Where does this lead to? To a dude about to get diced up. But it looks like. We got two of them there. And a third one. Oh man, we took care of these guys. On nice. And a fourth one. That was the perfect bullet time to be just executed right there. Cool. Careful. This isn't gonna pop up, is he? Cover up Loaded here. Now is this? Oh, this might be my dude. This is my dude with the shotgun, and I love this man. The shotgun is. Oh, Get out the way. Let's try this again. Thank you. Oh, I actually destroyed everything too. So I believe here we deal with our first ninja. What we're gonna do for the purpose of this video, because we're already kind of running a bit on the longer side, we're gonna do the ninja fight, and then I'll skip forward quite a bit, because as I mentioned, this first level is very long, to the boss fight. Got ourselves an upgrade. Stone, enemy troops. in the room. So, this is how you chaffin' On your guard! Ah! 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 Is it running? Mm, we do have a bullet time saved up for this guy potentially, but I'll save it. Maybe we'll get, like, maybe for that. Oh, I didn't get this dude? I soon did. Ready now, though. Any goodies in here? No. It's up we go for now. Fire away! This guy's taking quite a beating in there. That's the reason why I love the uh, the Taker. It's giving it all the stopping power because it gives you all those constant stuns. The stim pack right there if we need it. Which we might because, as I mentioned, a ninja isn't you coming up. Don't worry, guys. I got it as usual. Yeah, this is where ninja pops up from. All right, boys, it's about to get a little serious with this dude. Hi. He's the main reason why I love the shotgun. I feel that with the shotgun, I have a lot of trouble with this dude. No, 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 no. As you can see, he hurts like a truck as well. Oh! Oh, he was going for his, uh, instant kill more than likely for us right there. All the time. Oh, he's still alive even after the bullets and I can't even set up the kill. Oh, but he's dead now. Okay, that was Ninja. Again, the shotgun does help you out quite a bit with that dude. At this point, 
let's do a bit of a jump forward to the actual boss fight. Big make of time. Alright boys, first and foremost, I'm not sure if I have any 968 Cinder Grenade, Sleeper Hole, I don't think the Sleeper Hole is going to help against that big giant mech right there. Power Parry, able to parry unguardable melee attacks. Oh really? Well, let's just extend the combo at least for this fight, I think that's going to be more useful for it. Okay, let's see how we do against this dude. Another thing I didn't mention, this also kind of gives me Metal Gear Rising vibes on occasion too. Probably not as refined as a Hideo Kojima game, I suppose, but still there. So once you stun him... One piece down, hopefully. Okay, so all that's left now is to get ourselves a nice little grenade launcher. Okay, while well, avoiding this giant angry mech. Where is he? Okay, he's chasing me. I just need to kill one of the boys. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't get comboed up. Run, run, run. Oh my good god almighty. Where the hell are the soldiers at? Here's one. Oh, oh it's the joke! You know what I'm doing, Kazarius? Oh, jeez Louise. Second phase is kicking my ass. Where, 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 where? No, don't give me time to pick it up. I lost it? Alright, we, we gotta kill this guy for it then. Pick it up. Grab the grenade launcher. Take this thing out. I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Oh, we're out. There's another one. Oh, it's under the mech. Reload it, reload it. It's not so bad as when he starts comboing you up and you can't get back up before he starts running you over. But it becomes a big issue. see them. You take their gear. Don't make 
make me hurt you. All right, everybody, that being said and done, I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you have enjoyed this Falcon one-shot on Wanted Dead. I'm not sure how much it's going to be watching it, but at least playing it, I can tell you. This was fun. Even running through everything I already did beforehand was fun yet again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.